All right, so after what must have been one of, if not the longest maintenance in Dokkan history, it was a grand total of like 18 hours or something like that, because it got extended like four or five times. And at some point I was just like, are we gonna be able to play Dokkan today? But you know what, it's all good. We're finally in, the data download finally came through. It was huge by the way, 492 megabytes worth of data. I think most of that is the new features, the new uh, skill orb stuff, and also the stickers, but also the LR Nappa stuff and possibly some five year things too. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, but it was a huge data download. And in today's video, we're gonna check out everything this new campaign has to offer before we get into the five year anniversary. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay. So first things first, as you can see, the LR Nappa and Vegeta banner is available. And I don't really expect any surprises here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the exact same banner as the one that JP got. Okay, so uh, legendary summon coin for every five coins or five stones spent. Pretty standard. And yeah, some people were saying, yeah, maybe because they're trying to drain us of our stones, they might give us like discounts. But I don't think we've ever, ever in the history of this game have had discounts on a legendary summon banner so i'm not surprised there's no discounts here but let's jump into this main news thing here oh yo it's lagging i'm nervous <laughs> for a second i was like are we gonna go back into maintenance okay we're good astonishing progress explosive strength campaign is on pretty random not really sure what this has to do with anything that's going on but okay Various events are here. Uh, we got Nappa, who can be Dokkan Awakened to an LR, will show up in the Legendary Summon. LR, Nappa, and Vegeta can uh, unleash a powerful active skill and activate exchange once the condi conditions are met in battle. Let the Vicious Saiyans go on a rampage and mercilessly, mercilessly crush the enemies. In addition to luxurious login bonuses, a new Extreme Z battle will also be available during the event period. Okay, so first things first, login bonus, no surprises. We got some special missions, we got Training success, success doubled, got some stone sales, uh, pretty trash. I mean, I'm not surprised considering it's just for this like LR banner, but they could have given us some better sales, right? Like maybe 32 stones for like two or three times, you know, five or seven 91 stone packs. You know what? doesn't matter. It's all good. All the good sales are on the way, right? Five years is going to give us some really good sales. So if you guys are pay to play players don't worry we will get some very very you know good stuff soon good packs but um yeah that's that's pretty bad anyways we got the lr banner right there and the elder kai banner a couple of events coming back uh okay also we have the vegeta event available every single day the strike event um the explosive rage or exploding rage category banner and here is the uh, int future super saiyan trunks uh extreme z battle so we have his eza coming we have golden freezes extreme z battle coming back and uh, also full power freezes extreme z battle I have a couple of dogon events available throughout the entire event period and also uh oh for a second i got excited okay so i saw i, I saw raditz right so i was like maybe we're getting a world tournament again but no no world tournament for this campaign at the moment um maybe for the five-year anniversary i don't think jp had one but like i said it's been so long since global has had one that like it's getting kind of ridiculous at this point did they forget that world tournament was a thing or maybe they were working on a new method to do world tournament you know like world tournament 2.0 it's gonna be global first no i'm just kidding uh <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's wishful thinking, though. That's that's not gonna happen. But um, it's 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 about time, man. It's about time we got the world tournament back again. So hopefully they surprise us with a five-year world tournament. But like I said, JP didn't get it, and usually they don't change things for anniversaries. So uh, probably not. Okay, so we got the Radis event coming back. We got Videl's uh, learning to fly event with the free to play Videl, and also uh, the. Bojack story event, some Extreme Z battles available too. The uh, oh, this is this is for the kid Gohan, right? And this is for Piccolo. This is for the second form Frieza. 
and that's pretty much it guys a very very minor campaign but this is pretty much what we expected it's essentially a filler between the end of the Beerus campaign and the beginning of the five year anniversary which uh, I guess it looks like it's gonna be starting on the 8th all right cuz that's when this legendary summit banner goes away and if you go by the past couple of anniversaries I think for three year and four year the actual anniversary banners like the you know double dual LR banners dropped on July 8th so I'm pretty sure that's the date the circle on your calendar for the LR Vegito Blue, the LR Blue Gogeta drop, all right? I'm not 100% sure, but there's a good chance. Okay, so July 8th, keep that in mind. Uh, anything else? Not not really. All right, so two main highlights here. We got the LR Vegeta and Nappa banner, and we also have the Extreme Z battle for Trunks, which is starting on the 25th, so in about three days from now. And uh, moving on to, I mean, this. Why is that lagging so bad? Is it because everybody's trying to jump on at the same time? I think that's it, because this is literally like five minutes after the data download dropped when I started filming. So that could explain why it's taking so long for the game to load everything. Okay, I'm gonna wait here for a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I, I should have clicked, clicked on that one. All right, update 4.10.0, here we go. So we have the optimized process for unlocking hidden potential routes. Um, we have the optimized pages for training and awakening. Uh, awesome, so you can do both on the same page, I believe. Let's see. When you have enough awakening medals to perform a Z awakening, Doken awakening, or extreme Z awakening, the awakening medals will be automatically selected, and you can proceed by tapping the button located at the bottom corner, bottom right corner. That's awesome. Okay, so saves you some time right there. We have the optimized, pro optimized process of setting support items. Basically, you're able to click on the support items that are already set to unset them or unequip them. And we have the optimized process of selecting training locations. Basically, it will select your previously used training location. And uh, we also have the added information button for announcements. Interesting. What is that? A button for accessing the corresponding announcement has been added to the select team page, which is shown before you engage in an event interesting added skill orbs perfect new skill orbs now to increase a character's hidden potential skill level or stats and uh i did go over this before basically there's three different kinds of skill orbs bronze silver and gold the bronze one i think requires you to have the character at super attack 10 and the silver one requires you to have them at ur status or higher and the uh gold one requires the unit to have two dupes or more so two hidden potential paths open or more and you also have the special stickers which add special effects on your cards it shows here in the, the gogeta basically it adds like you know some like just random stuff like it doesn't really like, animate the card per se like it's not really moving but i guess, I guess it does but like you know what i'm trying to say like it doesn't add any crazy effects but it essentially enhances the existing effects if that makes sense you guys will see in a different video i'll make a separate video like you know showcasing the stickers and stuff like that but uh it's nice it's a, it's a nice little visual thing and also fix some bugs of course okay so there is the update and for the login bonus i'm assuming one stone per day uh yes one stone per day some training items some orbs and some hercule statues no surprises and lastly, special missions. Okay. So complete all special missions and time limited missions for 29 dragon stones. Okay. And there's two parts to this, just like the Beerus one. So I guess that's a thing that they're just, they're just gonna start doing um, where there's two parts to limited missions, not necessarily two parts to celebrations, right? So part one for the time limited missions, I'm gonna start from today and then part two starts on the 25th. Okay, that's kind of arbitrary. I don't really know like what's the point, but all right, if they want to do it that way, then sure. <laughs> and uh, as far as events go, all the stuff I just talked about in the main news release, you know, all these like events are permanent or I mean, not permanent, but like available for the entire event period and other regarding long maintenance. Okay. So basically, people who are unable to claim their daily delivery of Dragonstones with Daily Capsule will be getting two or three stones according to their subscription. 
And also, they're giving... Uh, oh, the login bonus that we missed before because of the extended maintenance. And also... Oh, they're giving out the stones for the daily missions as well. Interesting. And also the weekend summon login bonus. Okay, cool. So if you guys missed your login bonus, they do they did give out like everything that we would have missed. So that's always nice. Let me collect this. And uh, I got 13 stones. All right, not bad. So seven, I think I saw on the top was for the extended maintenance. And then the other stuff was like my login bonus stuff. All right, so cool. That's awesome. Um, I appreciate that, man. I mean, they could have done nothing. I mean, actually, they couldn't have done nothing. But at least they're trying at least they gave out more than one stone which you know if they did i wouldn't have been that surprised that about you know okay lastly let's take a quick look at this banner before we go we got the lr napa here we got uh yeah pretty much what i expected to see um pretty 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 garbage banner guys don't 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 summon if you don't really want them that bad uh if you do want them don't go too crazy i would say be pretty conservative with their stones that's that's my recommendation all right so um yeah guys that's it that is the i forgot what it was called but i'm, I'm gonna call it the pre five year anniversary campaign and uh, we are about two weeks away from the actual five year anniversary less than two weeks obviously for the countdown part of it so uh either way we're super super close get hyped my friends and that's it man i mean <laughs> that was such a crazy long maintenance like i it really messed up my sleeping schedule i'm not gonna lie because i kept waking up every two hours checking to see if the maintenance ended and it just didn't and the whole night i was i just never got good sleep man so bandai you, that's not cool but i know it wasn't their fault necessarily because i think it was something to do with like the app store maybe like one of the countries was still like withholding it for some reason so it's understandable but it was annoying okay anyways <laughs> enough talking from me hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out